Right. He's got the territories to the south of me. To duty. Press onward. Now you should be exhausted because you've just double timed it and you retreated away from me. He has two units of cavalry, so if I put one of my lance cavalry, one of my sword cavalry on each flank, I can hook around him, dispatch the uh, lance cavalry to engage his, and the swords can go after the archers. Alright. Infantry to the fore. Cavalry to attention. Archers. archers in second. Four archers there as a mobile reserve. Go harass who they need to. Send a general with each of the wings. Leave him in the middle. Have him fire the flammable round to try and burn up some of the forest they're going to hide in. Literally. Here it comes. Oh, devastation. Chunks of people missing. Watch out! The enemy lies in wait for us. Yeah, yeah, they're hiding in the woods. We kind of knew it. Comes the next lot. Archers are pulling down their cavalry a bit. Alright, let's get in here. Sword cap, go for them. You go for the general. You get the swordsman. Alright, just kill them all. Your breath. You will need it. Look, the enemy run. Craven. Wants a duel. Oh, I think my guy got dehorsed in the initial charge. A win. Our victory grows ever closer. All right, I need you to uh, look at what's going on. You 
seem to be struggling. Need some help? I dearly hope your blade is sharper than your wit. Just charge into that horde of arrows. What's the worst that could happen? Doesn't want the duel. Oh, those kills. Okay, I like fire uh, pots on the, the catapults. Those can come again. Fix your mind and never waver. Interesting. Kind, vigilant, competitive. Satisfaction. What's the higher court? He's quite demanding. They are surplus, nothing more. Free them all. Let's get rid of him. To war. Nurture passion. All right. Can I get a trade agreement with these guys? Something I didn't look into. Sometimes it is not important who you sign an agreement with. Only that the agreement itself comes to pass. If you have an important deal you want to sign, look for factions who will be open to it. Doesn't have a an open trade route. Whoops, minus fifteen executed generals. But honorable treatment of their soldiers. Who cares about Dongmin? Hanfu. I still don't know where Hanfu is. Sometimes your plans require you to cross the land of a neutral faction. Try to get a military access pact to move your armies freely without causing a negative impact to your diplomatic relations with them. I am at one again. Troops! Let's put you in march stance. He's just struggling to get across the river, I think. I kind of want to take the lumber yard and then sweep down on the town. Members of your court can be sent on assignments to benefit your faction. Examine the available assignments to see where you can improve. I don't need the mustering thing that I'm sending him on, but it keeps him busy and improves his relations and gets some experience. And yeah, you get it. Secure your diplomatic surroundings by signing non-aggression packs with your neighbors. It is the first step to improve your diplomatic relations with those nearby and may lead to better opportunities. The White Horse General answers China's call. Bring me news of the province. All right, stick him in the town. I 
Ha! Food production, farming. That's what we've wanted for a while now. Consider our offer. One shall is this one. No, I'm going to reject As that. You wish. I don't want a coalition with him just yet. I want to. If we cannot reconcile, Ugh. one must go. You again. All right. Speak quickly. A successful bid. Give me a piece and a trade deal. China's problems need an iron will. Get the stables ready for my horses. We're going to go deal with this problem in the north once and for all. Thrust with conviction and strike true. Ready yourselves. Maintain momentum. Hmm. Shaft mining. We have a mine there, don't we? We got that town to level four. Probably a nice building upgrade for income. Hello. An iron fist is needed to rule. Unify in one direction. Pretty much going to take that trade port, and there's not a lot I can do about it. Absolutely not. Oh, my court noble leveled twice. Oh no. Maybe. I mean, enable scare. Sounds good. What's the other thing? Low general satisfaction. We're we going up. Whatever. Test you, but this must end. Dong Min. Ah, so that's the that's the tyrant's replacement. Let's um. Let's continue to reject him for now. You insult us. Sieging it. He doesn't want to try and attack it. That's possibly a mistake. Oh. Rolling boulders. The enemy have left the siege equipment vulnerable and a well-placed rock slide would cripple their assault. Although we must move men away from rebuilding and repairing the defences, it can be done. So we lose some reserves. Do it. He ordered the rocks to be sent down immediately. Never let an advantage pass by. Attention! Resume standard stance. Hong Son advances. All right, he's going to move in to take him out. Warriors, attend! And he's going to move this way to threaten the toolmaker. 
not toolmaker, to go up to the toolmaker and threaten the city behind it. Threat to you. As you prefer. Ooh. It reckons they're evenly matched. I'm going to fight it. We see if we can hold them off with the garrison. I mean, their commanders are probably the real problem. A reserve in that position just in case. Oh no, it's destroyed that. That tower's class is destroyed. away time. I shouldn't the towers we're going to be shooting at them but if they're not then Swordsman, ready. The time has come. Run. another wave of towers back here which will do the shooting Turn and shoot! Swords out from the swordsman. Swords is going to have to try and tie up those generals for a minute. That's working in my favour nicely. Charge them. 
Let's get these guys around in the rear. Is it just about killing them off? The enemy unit flees. What cowards! Bowman, stand ready. ready. Get these swordsmen in. You try and continue fighting with these uh, generals. We're definitely giving a good account of ourselves. It's just whether we can basically get rid of these generals. Right, he's a commander. Keep him safe. General's fleeing. Yeah. Good job, Garrison. Actually, the swordsman did a lot of work there. And the archers have got nice numbers, but. who do not bend to authority will break upon it. Set them loose. Elder Hate King no asks, threat. how's three kingdoms? Um, it had a moment a minute ago where it looked like it did the standard total war of everyone's going to declare war on you come burning out of the hills with full stack armies and screw you. Um, but it seems to have reined itself back a little bit and those full stacks that came screaming out of the hills were um, malicious. So although they, they looked imposing as a big coloured bar, they um, they didn't actually do too well. We pushed them back. I am at one again. As I'm playing up in this top corner, I'm kind of not being able to fully utilise the diplomacy side of things yet because I need to be able to break out and not get myself pegged in. But we're starting to make use of it. We've got a non-aggression pact with these guys here and we've got a trade agreement with these two well this one sorry but one of them i'll have to break i'll probably get rid of the trade agreement once we uh finish this guy up here and he's no longer backstabbing me to duty to conquest. Summon the merchants. I would browse their goods. All right. Yes, we can upgrade our iron mine. He 
He's been recalled from his assignment. It's fine. Neither of us profit from this war. Neither of us profit from this war. I think I'm profiting nicely. It is your decision. Resolve your heart. Charge the white horses. Do not yield. Continue the siege. Be unrelenting. Bring up my secondary Trump. army. Maintain momentum. Show fury. Right, what options do we have in proper sieges? Rams. And tunneling over the wall. Or under the wall. I'm gonna demand his surrender though. No, no, not give up. Fix your mind and never waver. Alright, character captured. Alright. Fiery. Defiance. Concerned. He comes with. Oh, his current militia is a load of retinue. Some sword guards. Sure, I'll employ him. We do need some more people. To restore order. Mission issued. Long has your military prowess kept peace in the north and protected the Empire's borders. Now you must extend your power and influence to unify. Oh, we've reached the rank of Duke. Celebration is due. Let the wine flow. As second marquee, you can continue to attack China's foes. Know the hearts and desires of your enemies to defeat and confound them. Sending a single spy to infiltrate an enemy may save hundreds of lives and spare unnecessary bloodshed. Alright. I'm going to build myself one of those. Now, what's this? Administrating and ruling a faction requires a healthy and robust treasury. S Collecting taxes is vital to maintaining a regular source of funds. I could recruit the spy. Let's do that one because he's the cheapest per turn. No faction selected. Um, deploy him there. Is precise. Ready yourself. Half is clear. I have returned. Have my general. All right. We can bring our men back down from the north now. They shouldn't need to sit up there. Got another reform. We want to pick this time. Building up, keep reduction. That's good to me. Yeah, 
here we can have a Chancellor. Chancellor, do Chancellor's Chief Civil Officer. Um, guess we've only really got this guy. There you go. You are a weakness that must be supported. He wants me to be a vassal? Reject. If that is your choice. Get the feeling we're gonna end up in a fight soon. Loyal followers, family members, and others without a post will take seats in your courts. These court nobles may have abilities that make them good candidates for promotion as administrators or ministers. Okay, the tribes of the gang are an ever-present threat to your northern borders. However, as a seasoned veteran, you know that a white horse is a sacred animal to them and to kill one is a grave sin. Exploit this by fielding swathes of white horses to strike fear into their hearts, instantly giving you power over them. Nice. All right, you're going to come all the way down there. My primary general is going to go to my capital instead. Not the capital. He's going to go to my capital instead. This is the one I wanted. For some reason, I thought this was the trade port. Let me watch both sides while I build up. Ah, oh, you can invoke council to get missions. Nice. The first rule in diplomacy is to know who you are dealing with. Each warlord approaches diplomacy differently. Some are more skilled in it. Some are more trustworthy. And some will even turn on you if they sense weakness. Okay then. Spy dispatched. A spy has been dispatched to another faction. There, they will travel the land, attempting to ingratiate themselves with an ability, while simultaneously scouting for us and building an undercover network. Whether they will make an impression and successfully infiltrate, the faction is uncertain, but we will nonetheless benefit from their clandestine efforts. Which is why we can now see over here. Let's trigger this, shall we? Okay. When there is discontentment, people will begin to lose faith and proliferate disorder. The people here are dissatisfied. Send a force immediately. Force any seditious thoughts they may have. After you invoke the council, your advisors will offer their solutions to pressing faction matters. Each council member will have their own agenda, and this will be reflected in the types of missions they propose. Dire civil unrest. The mission we're doing is not actually an issue. Although it is minus 23. Wondering if I may actually need to leave him up there to keep that happiness sorted. Follow the heart. I 
ones die down the bottom here. Improve our cavalry or improve the town. Improve the town. Getting a thousand a turn now. We would not be your enemy. Bandit Queen. Oh, reject. As you prefer. Hey, Chad. Trust is vital in diplomacy. Betraying your allies and breaking promises will affect how all other factions view you. Brokering new agreements will be hard if everyone knows you do not always honor them. Uh, Yun Shao vassalized Sao Sao. Yang Yan has declared war on Sao Sao. A bit of a war going on up there then. Or down there even. Herald my approach. Moving as one. All right, that's civil unrest thing he sorted there. Construction reduction, income from industry, corruption. Yeah, it's not really much point me assigning somebody up there. So what we'll do is in this one sign uh, income from industry. Just in case it does actually make a difference assigning people to do things. Off you go. It'll improve the guy I'm sending at the very least. This suggestion at your peril. Go away, Dong Min. You dare spurn us. The little conqueror, Sun Si, the son of the late Sun Yan has become famed throughout the land for his exploits in conquering the Southlands. The people come to call him the Little Conqueror, and you hear it spoken throughout your capital. China's problems need an iron will. Get the stables ready for my horses. Raid some of these. Oh, starting to dislike various people now. What? Zhao Yun doesn't like. They were bestest buds. What's going on there? Bring me news of the province. You grant me a kindness in calling, my lord. They're like oath sworn and everything. Hey! 
prepare my chambers. Okay. Do you obey? Being vassalized by Yuan Shao. He seems to be vassalizing everybody then. Death of Sun Si. Ambushed by enemy troops. Shot through the cheek and dies of his wounds shortly afterwards. 